Okay, so lesson 89 of A Course in Miracles. Uh, these are the review ideas for today. A review of lesson 77, I'm entitled to miracles. I'm entitled to miracles because I'm under no laws but God's. His laws release me from all grievances and replace them with miracles. So for me, um, the miracle is, you know, um, his laws release me from all grievances. Well, the laws of the ego are fear and separation. So, um, and therefore they create grievances because the ego is not happy with the, with the way the world it is. Replace them with miracles. You know, for me, that it's you're either going to see it differently. You're going to see the holiness in the situation. You're going to have a miracle, a shift in perception that will help you to see it and release the situation. And I'll, and help you to experience a greater experience of limitation, oneness, or, or, or peace as you do that. So carrying on, I would accept the miracles in place of the grievances, which are but illusions that hide the miracles beyond. Now I would accept only what the laws of God entitle me to have, that I may use it on behalf of the function he has given me. You might use these suggestions for specific applications of this idea. Behind this is a miracle to which I'm enlightened. <clears throat> like, you know, so I could use it, like, let's say I'm afraid of money. Behind this m fearful money situation is a miracle to which I'm entitled. Or behind this property situation is a miracle to which I'm entitled. Another one is, let me not hold a grievance against you. So here it could be, um, let me not hold a grievance against you, Donald Trump. Yeah, or let me not hold a grievance against you, insurance company, man, or whatever. But offer you, uh, no, it's actually a two-part, sorry. Let me not hold a grievance against you, Donald Trump but offer you a miracle that belongs to you instead. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's, nice. that's nice. So, let me not hold... Uh, let's see. Let me not hold a grievance against you, uh, uh, James, but offer you a miracle that belongs to you instead. That's very nice. Very nice. That's nice. Um, oh. This is also nice. Seen truly, this offers me a miracle. Seeing truly my property situation offers me a miracle. That's nice, yeah. Seeing. And okay, so also we're reviewing lesson 78. Let miracles replace all grievances. By this idea, do I unite my will with the Holy Spirit's and perceive them as one? So uh, for me, uh, um, if uh, by this idea, I unite my will with the Holy Spirit. Well, the Holy Spirit, um, the Holy Spirit doesn't see things in separation, so we then go to those consciousness levels of oneness. So it's the restoration of oneness because the holiness is helping me to be to be restored to oneness. Because when I'm identified with my ego, I'm in separation, perceiving a, a world that's separate from me. So by this idea, do I accept my release from hell? By this idea do I express my willingness to have all my illusions be replaced with truth according to God's plan for my salvation. I would make no exceptions and no substitutes. I want all of heaven and only heaven as God's, God's will me to have. Useful specific application forms for applying this idea would be I would not hold this grievance apart from my salvation. So, um, I'll just use Donald Trump for this. I would not hold this grievance against Donald Trump apart from my salvation. Or I would not hold this grievance about the uh, financial situation in London apart from my salvation. Another one is let our grievances be replaced by miracles and it's got here a name, let our grievances be replaced by miracles, John. So it's got name, okay. 
So maybe it's asking for uh, if I'm resentful at Donald Trump and Donald Trump's resentment, resentful at me could be let our grievances be replaced by miracles. Yeah, I don't quite get that one. Okay, beyond this is the miracle by which all my grievances are replaced. That's nice. So, beyond this fear of, fi of finances is the miracle by which all my grievances are replaced. So it would be, be like that. 